So this is going to be a case of uh, medical lung disease and we're going to start at low power and you can see that this is uh, essentially normal lung. Now there are a few lymphoid aggregates scattered around but you can see the alveolar spaces uh, and occasionally you'll see these small uh, pink dots in them and if we go down and we look at those on high power uh, you'll see that those are pulmonary macrophages and so you guys know about these guys they kind of come through the alveolar walls and they clean up any uh, garbage that might be floating around in the alveolar spaces. In this case uh, we have a hint as to what's going on. In this case uh, there was a large section of lung that was taken out for what they were calling a mass. Uh, however when we looked at it we started noticing these things and you will see right here that we have what we would call a giant cell. So you have multiple nuclei and this kind of large area of glassy pink cytoplasm in it. In addition, if you look around a little bit more, you will start to see these areas. And at low power, this is a perfect example of what we would call a uh, granuloma or a caseous granuloma, uh, namely the ones that you would see in tuberculosis infection. So if we go down and we take a look at it right in this area in between what you'll notice is that this area uh, at the top is all necrotic. You can see that there's a lot of smearing of the nuclei and you don't have very good nuclear detail when you look at it and that lets you know that this area has died. So this is the caseous necrosis that we would talk about and this is where the uh, actual TB is going to be hanging out. Uh, if you look just below that what you can see is this is the rim of histiocytes around the area of necrosis which is at the bottom and these histiocytes kind of have these what we would call coffee bean nuclei with little nucleoli those little purple dots within them occasionally they'll join together to form a giant cell and then around that you can see the rim of lymphocytes and plasma cells that are coming in to help fight this infection now you'll notice that you can't see any of the tuberculosis uh, on this image and the reason for that is that we have to use special stains so when we see a case like this that has uh, these necrotic granulomas we will actually get what we call an AFB stain and the AFB stands for acid fast bacilli and that will actually stain the little bacilli that are the uh, tuberculosis red and we'll be able to see them so in summary this is a case of uh, tuberculosis in the lung causing caseous granulomas that were mistaken for a tumor in this lung was resected.